Last Friday, the Small Business Administration published a list of companies that got those paycheck protection loans. One Austin business owner learned her company is on that list with a loan she never applied for. As KXAN investigator Jody Barr reports, no one's been able to tell her. It says two to five million skier girl ATX LLC on 200 High Circle North with 294 employees. Deb Gabor got a huge surprise on social media last weekend. A group in Leno County doxed her in a Facebook post questioning how she ended up with a huge PPP loan. I have no idea who got that two to five million dollars. Uh, I certainly didn't get it, and I sure could use it right now. The Small Business Administration, or SBA, published a list of companies approved for PPP loans. Her company, Skier Girl ATX LLC, is on that list. LLC is a common type of business structure, in her case, to simply manage two rental properties. Skier Girl ATX LLC has zero employees. It doesn't file tax returns. It doesn't have a physical location. It's not actually an operation. Business. Adding to the confusion, the loan for Skier Girl ATX has an address of 200 High Circle North in Horseshoe Bay. That's actually the address for a luxury lakeside golf resort. 200 High Circle North Horseshoe Bay, Texas. Huh, that's the Horseshoe Bay Resort. There it is. That's definitely not my that's not my address. The PPP database shows First Capital Bank of Texas handled the loan linked to Gabor's LLC. She contacted the bank immediately looking for answers. In a letter this week, the bank confirmed she never applied for a PPP loan with them. According to the bank, the SBA's computer system made an error in merging data. The tax ID number for her company got mixed up with another customer. My biggest concern here is that I'm going to be on the hook to, uh, you know, try to get a $5 million loan forgiven for a business that I, I, I did not apply for. Um, and certainly, like, I cannot, I cannot risk any damage to my reputation, my credibility, uh, or, you know, my privacy. It could have really, really far-reaching implications for me. So the bank blames the SBA for a data entry mistake on this, but a spokesperson for the Small Business Administration tells me it does not enter this data into these databases that the banks do. But meanwhile, Robert, Deb Gabor tells me she has filed a fraud complaint with the Office of Inspector General. And so, Jody, tonight we don't know who, if anyone, actually got the loan for Skier Girl ATX, right? Exactly right. You know, we contacted the Horseshoe Bay Resort and the First Capital Bank of Texas, but neither responded to us for comment for this investigation. We do know the resort is named on that PPP list for one loan, and we do not know why tonight its address is listed for that other loan. Robert. Jody, thank you. We contacted Senator John Cornyn's office about this mystery loan, but did not get a response. Last week, Cornyn promised a PPP audit after we discovered one loan went to a local political campaign. Within the past month, nine people were charged with crimes connected to PPP fraud. One third of those prosecutions are against Texans. For an interactive map showing details of each of those prosecutions, go to the investigative section at KXAN.com.